You recently had a, a little health scare though. That yeah. A lot of people know know about. If you're cool with talking. Yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in New Jersey when it started. I started having some pain right here on my on my right side, and I didn't really know what it was. And it went all the way to my back, and I was like, "What in the world is that?" Anyways, it got so bad. I got home and I went to the doctor. They're like, "Yeah, you have a broken rib." I was like. That's weird. I didn't fall or anything, yeah, you know. What are you doing, yeah, I mean, I was just running around stage. I had a eight day run coming up, and I was like, "All right, I ain't got time for this." I just kept taking ibuprofen. You can't do anything for a broken rib anyway, so I, I just, I wasn't gonna tell my manager. I wasn't gonna tell the label because you know everybody's, you know, well, you don't need to go out on the road with a broken rib. So exactly, I was trying to pull a tough guy thing, and and I made it halfway through. And I, on the fourth night, I got off stage, and I mean, it was just the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. And I took my guitar off, and I went backstage where nobody could see me, I thought. And dude, I started bawling my eyes out like a little girl. And my radio rep came over, and she was like, all right, what's going on? Because I hadn't told her about the rib. And uh, I was like, well, they said I had a broken rib, but... I don't think a broken rib would swell up like this, and my whole side was swollen. My guitar couldn't even touch it. It hurt so bad. And anyways, she ended up sending me home to Nashville to go to Vanderbilt immediately uh, because Vanderbilt's one of the best hospitals in the U.S. And I get there to the gate. There's like a gurney there waiting on me. I go into the ER. They were like, hey, hey, you know, can we get a picture? I'm like... <gasps> Yeah, uh, you know, so, yeah. Uh, no, read the room. And then, yeah, and so, like, I took a picture with them, and she was like, all right, what can we do for you? I was like, well, you know, uh, something's <laughs> something's wrong here. Like, my whole side's swollen. And, um, you know, I'd been crying off and on, dude, like a, like a you know, like a schoolgirl. And they took me back after 13 hours being in the waiting room, and they couldn't find anything. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I came all the way here for a broken rib. I ended up staying there because a surgeon happened to be walking by as they were about to cut my ER wristband off. And I was telling them, hey, something's not right. Like, I, I can feel something not right inside me. And he was like, hey man, lay down, lay down on that bed for me. So I did, he put his hand right here and pushed in and I was like, <gasps> and anyways, he, he ended up telling that doctor, he looked at that doctor immediately and was like, we got to take him in for surgery right now. I had emergency surgery to get my gallbladder removed. Oh my God. They said your gallbladder is originally supposed to be the size of a large peanut, and mine, <laughs> mine was the size of a Nerf foam football. That, doc, that surgeon the next morning after I was off anesthesia and everything, he came in there and told me, he kind of sat down on the bed, he was like, dude, he said, next time, if you know something's not right, go to the doctor immediately. He said, honestly, I don't know how that thing didn't rupture, but if it had ruptured like it should have, you'd have had about a 30% chance.